Are you recording? No, the little dot means <laughs> I'm just not. <laughs> okay. All right. It's day four. We're in the animal kingdom. Animal kingdom day. See the animals. Not a zoo. Well, that's good, Jennifer. Break the door. It's not a zoo. Uh oh. Towel refresh. Totally. One day left. And now head to the bus station. Yes. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There's water back in this fountain. Head to the bus. Yep, we are on the bus to Animal Kingdom. When we are doing it, uh, I assume we're doing it at all the bus stops, but you have to line up in separate areas for different buses. But it kind of sucks because there's no seating for here in Animal Kingdom and Epcot. You have to stand out there. High Studios, I think, needs to down. Anyway, um, oh well. Wow. really waited for couple minutes. Animal so, Kingdom and Driver's Society, what she wants to do. Dual Girl, Safari's is 10, Dinosaur's 20, Avatar's 40. Well, you want to do the Safari while it's 10? Yeah, let's do the Safari while it's 10. Then we can backtrack through Pandora. Yes. That's what's there. Mm. 10 minutes. Again, watch those doors on the right hand side. You want to watch your hands, arms, feet, and legs as they slide closed. Hey, 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 thank you so much. Alrighty, well, let's go. Hi there, friends. My name is Larry. I'll be your safari driver through the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. Uh, and there they are. A couple of up ahead of us coming up on our right. Actually, because of these hippos, that other animals can live here in the river. Hippos will eat lots of vegetation, and they'll return to the water and leave their droppings all over the place. This attracts bugs and fish, which are eaten by birds and other animals. So it creates an entire ecosystem, just because the hippos decided they wanted to sleep here. Now, there's a couple of hippos on our right. There's a few on our left over there behind the, uh, behind the island. Now also on our left on the island, there are some pink bag pelicans, smallest pelican species, and the only ones known to make nests in trees. That's why even though these trees have been broken apart for quite some time, the pelicans still enjoy making their nests there. Now as we around the corner, keep your eyes peeled down to the left. There might be a few more animals down there that I may not be able to point out. Kind of a sharp turn after all. A few more hippos on the islands down there. We're also getting to see some Nile crocodiles off to the left. The Nile crocodile grows 15 to 20 feet in length. They live to be about 45 years old in the wild, and in captivity they can live to be over 85 years old. So these crocodiles might be swimming the Safi River for the better part of a century. I love crocodiles, I find them fascinating, but even I know that we should probably not stop. Their jaws are quite powerful, but they can also be quite gentle when they have to be. When the crocodile's eggs are ready to hatch, they'll gently roll those eggs around in their mouths to encourage the hatching behavior. And then they'll bury their small children from place to place, keeping them safe from other predators till they're large enough to take care of themselves. Either way though, we're headed out toward the savannah. Wide open plains are home to a large variety of animals like elephants and giraffe and other large migratory herds like wildebeest, antelope and zebra. Our organs. Oh, now out to our left, I see some painted dogs over there. Black, white, and yellow canids, roughly the size of a large fox or a small wolf. Now don't be fooled by the painted dogs. While well, they might look cute and cuddly and fluffy and adorable. The painted dogs are the most successful predator of mammals in Africa. They will chase their prey till their prey drops from exhaustion and can't run any further. That's what makes them so successful. They don't have to outrun their prey, they just have to outlast them. Now the painted dogs work very well as family groups. They play together, they hunt together, and when they catch food, We'll have the kids to eat first.
Out to our left, I see some sable antelope with rich brown coats and arched horns. The sable antelope are fiercely protective of their families. They've been known to drive away predators as large as lions from their territories. Now here in front of us, the uh, zebra, Hartman's Mountain Zebra, the least territorial zebra species. Other zebra will bully, bite, and kick in other animals uh, to make them leave their areas. However, the Hartman's Mountain Zebra, as long as they don't feel threatened or don't feel like their food's being taken from them, they really don't care. Which is probably why we're able to get so close to these two here. like this. It's going to consist mostly of adult females and their children. Be led by the matriarch, the largest, oldest, and wisest of the females who leads her family across the savannah every year. Now out to our left we're getting to see a young elephant over by the rocky ridge. If I had to guess I'd say she's probably just a little over four years old now. But for an elephant is still very young. In fact elephants have the second longest childhood in the entire animal kingdom. The childhood lasts about 13 to 15 years. The only childhood I can think of that's longer than that is a human childhood lasting anywhere from 18 to 45 years. <laughs> Now those trunks of the elephant are uh, very impressive. I believe there's over 30,000 muscles in any one of their trunks. Strong enough to snap bamboo, but delicate enough to pick up things like potato chips without breaking them. They'll take dirt and mud, fling it over themselves. They'll bring food and water to their mouths with those trunks. They've taken to raising a herd of Nigerian dwarf goats. Itty bitty goats. They're, uh, this is about as big as they ever get. Over here on our left, near the top of the hill very playful. They love to climb up on top of things, butt heads with each other. You can generally feed a herd of these goats for about as much as you'd feed one cow. Now some people might see these goats so close to wild animals like the rhino, the warthog, and the lion and find that a bit jarring. But honestly, this is a very common sight. Not only here, but around the world. We humans and our domesticated friends are living closer and closer to wild animals every single day. You might remember a time you got to see some wild animals very close to where you live like birds or critters or maybe even some larger animals depending on where you call home. Well, no matter the animal, some of the best ways to help protect these creatures are by learning more about them and sharing that knowledge with others. The more we understand about the wild world we inhabit, the better prepared we can be to protect it in the future. We're on our way to Pandora. Um, we're walking by actually the Lion King. We're on by the theater. And I just learned, was it this last week, that it's coming back this summer, so. Yeah. It's actually a really good show. Yes. And Safari was good as always. A lot of animals out. The zebra was right there, saying hi to Jennifer. Yeah. So was an ostrich, in her face out of Jennifer. Yeah. <laughs> just thinking ostrich thoughts. And then we had the lions, which the females were playing around. I don't know if you ever could see them. No, I couldn't see them, but I saw them. The male lion was sitting down. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, they were playing. They were, they were kind of playing with each other down there. It's just... Usually, you know, they're just sleeping. <laughs> yeah. So. In the meantime, off in the Pandora. Fly past just 30 minutes. Wait. Yes, thank you, Jennifer, for uh, uh, like we said earlier, we were talking about it, like, every time we come, it's always really hot. Today is actually really nice. Well, and it's going to be into this part because literally the temperature always goes up by like 5 to 10 degrees because of all Wash your hands the plants. And it's, it's just so lush. I mean, literally, the temperature goes up. But actually, like I said, it's really... It's not crowded. I mean, there's still some lines, but I mean, we like a 10 minute wait for Kilimanjaro safaris and Pandora is like 30 minutes, which is like. That's what it says. That's what it says. Which, to get a line for that ride under an hour is miraculous. Well, we might see David here. Oh, David Dumont? Yeah, he's, yeah. he works during the week, Yeah.
to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar. They're created by blending human DNA and Navi DNA. Once we match you to an Avatar, thanks to a special link chair, your mind will be able to control that Avatar. Using Avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads her science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying banshees and their environment. Let's watch this piece by Dr. Ogden, who runs the program. Welcome, everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi. Connecting to an Ikran and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. With permission from the Navi and in partnership with Alpha Centauri Expeditions, we can now bring this amazing experience to you. We establish a link using powerful psionic amplification equipment. A human driver is connected to an avatar, which could be physically hundreds of kilometers away. When you follow our technician into the link chamber, you'll see a series of 16 link chairs. Please go to the number that matches the number you're standing on now. First, stow your gear in the storage containers on the back wall. This should include all bags, cameras, and other items, including cell phones. It's important to push them all the way into the bin. Then get onto the chair as you would a bike. Straddle the seat, step forward, and sit down. Slide your hips forward until you are against the chest pad, and then move your feet all the way forward. Wait until you're seated before you put on your flight visors. Hold onto the hand grips as shown. It's important to hold onto the hand grips at all times. After you're seated, back and leg restraints will be firmly engaged. For your safety, throughout this entire experience, always remain seated and supervise your children. Once the link takes place, you'll be connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of an Ikron. It'll feel like you're really there. Moments later, you'll begin your flight. A Navi guide will lead you out. You'll experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora, but you might also face some of its greatest challenges. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be ready. It says 30 minutes, but I don't think it really was 30 minutes. Yeah, I think pretty it was quick. Like 20, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, very quick. Did you see the behind us? Yeah. First time we got to sit that lower on the right hand side, we go in. We never done that before. So first, nothing really changes much. You just lower level all the screens. That's, that's one of the nice things. Like with Soren, you know, you have to get that exactly middle middle row, or else you can see the edge. Um, I've never had a bad seat on this like Soren does all the time. Into the gift shop at the end. I also love it. Hello. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Sorry. Are we? Three. Number three, Navi River Ride. Here comes our boat.
what's really interesting yeah. is that they, everybody complained about this being a short ride, but that clocked in just under seven minutes. So time wise, really not that short. No. But the one thing I think is, I think he slowed it down. There's a lot more boats. I just, I just feel a lot slower than it did years, you know, a year or two ago. I may slow it down because the complaints are wide, but seems to be slower. Look, it's the floating mountain of Pandora. Oh, it's the island of Pandora. 